Go ahead and grab a pool noodle from Dollar Tree using a sharp box cutter. Go ahead and just start cutting that in different sizes or you could cut them all in the same sizes. I decided to do different sizes. Then you wanna grab some newspaper, craft paper, or even tissue paper will work. Go ahead and measure that out, crinkle that paper right up, and then go ahead and just start cutting it into some strips. Go ahead and grab some Mod Podge, and you are just going to start applying that Mod Podge right onto the pool noodle, and then go ahead and start applying that newspaper. And just continue doing this process until that pool noodle is completely covered in the paper of your choice. You then just want to trace out the ends of the pool noodle onto your paper and then just cut those circles right out. And then again, just apply some more Mod Podge on the ends and just place that newspaper right on top. And then you could always go over it with another coat of Mod Podge and then just allow that all to completely dry. Then go ahead and grab some tissue paper or toilet paper, just kind of scrunch it up into a little ball and then apply some more Mod Podge and just place that ball of tissue paper right onto the Mod Podge. And while I was adding the tissue paper, I just kind of flattened it out just a little bit just so it isn't sticking out that much. This part is going to resemble where the branches were on your birch wood. Allow that to completely dry, and now I'm just using some Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. Just kind of watered it down a little bit, and then just began painting that pool noodle right up. I did end up doing two coats. You wanna dry the first coat before going on to the second coat, and then just allow everything to completely dry. Then I just added a little bit of some black acrylic paint and with that white chalk paint, watered it down a little bit. And you wanna just create a very light gray color. Once you have that color, go ahead and just apply that right over the white chalk paint. Let that dry and then where you had placed down that tissue paper, you wanna add just a little bit of brown acrylic paint and then go ahead and top it off with just a little bit of black acrylic paint. And now for this part, you could use an old credit card or anything skinny, but I decided just to cut up a piece of cardboard, dipped it into some black and brown acrylic paint, and just started creating the birch wood lines all throughout that pool noodle let those lines completely dry and i decided just to add a little bit more distressing so i just did a dry brush method with some more brown acrylic paint all throughout the pool noodle this part is completely optional if you do not want to do this you could go ahead and skip this step but i think they came out looking pretty cool so again i made a variety of these birch wood so I just began gluing them together. I'm using this Dollar Tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue and just began placing these all together. Look at how realistic these look. I think they came out so awesome. And then once you have them all glued together, you could start adding some embellishments. So I had this red and black buffalo check ribbon. I just measured it to fit around the stacks of the birch wood. And then went ahead and just hot glued the ends onto the bottom of the stack. And then I grabbed these evergreen pieces off of Amazon. And all I did was just kind of stuff those in underneath that ribbon that I wrapped around. And then I just created a bow out of the same ribbon and just hot glued that right in place. And there you go, guys. One pool noodle turned into this gorgeous centerpiece almost, or you could put this anywhere throughout your house. I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much, and I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.